Fuck off, Homer. Ever? Yeah, that was my first ever. <laughs> that was my first ever. That was pretty cool. What's that feeling like? Uh, blissful. You know, like you work for that moment. Um, there's like no words to describe it. It's just a, it's just pure joy. Honestly, you know, you don't, you don't feel excited. You don't feel uh, like oh, I gotta do something else. You know, it's just like in the moment, and you know, the game's over. I've I don't even know what to think. I thought it was just, you know, it's just it, it was really, really cool deal. I'm wondering, you know, most guys will tell you, you know, your approach to the plate every time is supposed to be consistent. and But in a moment like this, now it's the 11th inning, guys are getting tired. Yeah. Is it a different mindset in that moment as opposed to, you know, a first inning at bat or a second inning at bat? And, well, you know. my at bat before that one when I got hit in the nose, <laughs> it like skimmed me in my nose. I, uh... I was, I was, I felt rushed. I felt the, uh, you know, I felt the anxiousness. Um, and I, I asked God before that last at bat, you know, just uh, this at bat's already given to you. This day's already given to you. Uh, don't need to stress. Don't need to do too much. You just see ball, hit ball. You know, if he throws something good, then he throws something good. But just, I always tell myself, do your best. Try your best. And try your best to put a good swing on a on a good pitch to hit. So did, did that did pitch come off your point? shoulder and then to your nose? Or did no, it no, just... it, it, it just grazed. It just grazed my nose. Okay, so yeah. it just went straight yeah. in the nose. Yeah. Okay. So at the plate in that situation, are you just thinking getting on board? Are you thinking about something to drive? Uh, What's your approach there? No, no, I, I wasn't thinking anything. Honestly, I I just I, I wanted to go up and just put together a good at bat. Um, uh, another thing I tell myself is be on time with the pitcher's best fastball. I believe that guy was in 93-95 with a good good slider. I check swung on before, um, and then he also had a good changeup. All three pitches were good for him. He just so happened to hang a changeup that I was, you know, that I just saw pop up whenever I made my move to the ball. So, I'm wondering, it obviously got a little warm today. Obviously, a lot warmer than the last couple yeah. of days. The feeling of the Gatorade and the water running down the <laughs> back of your neck on a day like this probably felt pretty good. Uh, it, it, I, like I said before, there's no words to describe it. It was just <laughs> all the hard work, all the all the trials and tribulations, and everything. Uh, just coming, honestly, coming to that point, you know, it's just um, it may not seem that outside looking in, but you know, all the stuff that I've endured over time and um, to get to this point. Um, has been pretty tough, so it's just it, it was. Um, I'm really grateful for that. So, would, would you consider yourself a guy who's wanted a moment like this? You know, guys are kids are growing up. You know, two outs, bottom of the ninth, and up steps. You know, me and then. Were you a guy like that growing up? I mean, uh, I mean, of course, everybody yeah, is. Every every, every kid is. Every kid wants that moment, and uh, you know, in order. To, it, I don't know if you can really prepare for that moment. Yeah. You know, you can talk about it in the cages, like, all right, two, two, bottom of the ninth, yeah. you're gonna hit a homer. And but like, whenever you get in that moment, if you're not at a calm, flow state, and you're not, you know, you're not trusting yourself, and you're not thinking about putting good wood on good ball, then you won't, you, you won't make that happen. You have to be as still and calm as possible when you're in there. So, Reed, you had talked about the trials and tribulations you guys this year. I mean, start from the beginning of the year all the way through now. I mean, you get hit in the face earlier today and then you come and hit a home run. I mean, it, how do you all as a team deal with that and just consistently get off the mat, so to say? Uh, this team is relentless. Um, anything and everything we do is uh, is just, we go we go balls to the walls. Like, um, there, everybody's always pulling for everybody in every given situation. Nobody's a selfish player. Nobody wants something more for themselves than anyone else. It's uh, it's it's truly a special thing whenever you have a team. And I've never been a part of a team that is this cohesive and this loving and caring by every single guy in that dugout. Going into that ninth inning, did you guys have any kind of feeling that something special was always, about to always, always with this team? You know, it, it, we're, we're never going to give up. We're never going to give up. We're never going to back down. We're always going to put together good, hard at bats for every single guy on the mound. Every guy that comes out on the mound first is going to give good, hard at bats for the opposing team. It's just we, we, we want to beat the other team in all facets of the game. And that's uh, 
that's something that's also really special. You don't find very many teams and ball clubs that that work that hard to execute that plan. So.